So I heard about this happening on the trail. A man carves these sticks, leaves them. Um, tiger tail sticks made by Henry Sano. He's 66 years young and he keeps busy in his wood shop doing these. I just went all the way up there thinking that it was the AT. Um, I feel like it must be up there. Can't be any worse than what I just went through. Let's find the white blaze. So when this happens, I got to backtrack and go find the white blaze. Now, doesn't this look like trail? So let's find it. Oh my goodness gracious. I guess maybe it's not the trail. Sure looks it. So that's what I was looking at and thinking it was the trail, but I think this is where I made my mix up, see? So the blaze is down there and that's where I'm going. But instead I went over here and that brought me way off trail because see all the wilderness in between? So yeah. <laughs> Massachusetts, you're really pretty. One thing I wasn't thinking about is all the Sobos are coming. So I have been having a ball today, meeting all the Sobos, all the Sobos. So three today, one yesterday, uh, one the day before yesterday, that was Billy Goat, who's He's incredible. He's going for 110 days and he's traveling real fast. We were lucky to have like an hour with him at Trail Magic to hear all about uh, Maine and the Whites and Vermont, how everything's looking coming up. Um, and today I just met Moses and Mix Up. Um, and there's some, there's some strong work there too. They're uh, coming Sobo. And I told them how amazing the South is. And they told me how amazing the North was. And they said not to be afraid of the water crossings. They were going down as they came through. So that's good news. Um, yeah, it's so cool to meet the Sobos. It's so, so cool. So when we first started, um, you know, the Sobos weren't even on the trail yet. And it's just cool that we're all meeting up now. Oh, quickly, for my friends and family that don't know what a Sobo is, that's southbound. So they started at Katahdin um, and they're heading south to Georgia. So that's the difference. We're in the Berkshires of Massachusetts and Zena left a little earlier this morning because her boyfriend's coming. So she'll be off trail for a couple days and you know, what better opportunity to take a couple days in the Berkshires uh, than now. So that's what we're doing. Um, we'll be able to probably get a ride to whatever we need from them. Uh, but I'm gonna try not to bother them. I am so excited. Um, just to have some time with habits and feel a little more rejuvenated. Yeah, so he's excited about the hotel and we we're gonna try to, I wanna wash my backpack again. I slept on the ground the last two nights, which was horrible. I was freezing because this morning we woke up, it was probably 58, 60, gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, because the humidity has broke and the sun is out and who knows? In a couple of days, well, we're probably going to stay tonight and tomorrow night um, somewhere. I'm looking at the Berkshire Lakeview Lodge. <laughs> it's not fancy. They have hiker rates, but they also are very close to trail. And um, there's also like some wellness retreat centers over there. 
So we're going to check it out. My, my girlfriend Darlene was here last year at um, Marivelle, which is a retreat center. And she sent me a video. She'd gone on a little like walking tour type thing. And the guide showed her the Appalachian Trail and it ran right behind the wellness center. So I'm excited to check all that out. Take a video, send it to her. I just got off the phone with her. She's boarding an airplane. She didn't have, um, she, she gave me all the words of encouragement that just really made my day. <laughs> but she uh, looks like we're just going to get down there and check it out. Um, the place she was at, definitely too fancy for this hiker trash. <laughs> but we would love to go take a yoga class or something. Um, maybe tomorrow. So we're just making our way through beautiful Massachusetts. I'm telling you, I know um, people in the Boston area, they're always up in the whites in the north um, hiking. Probably because this is so far from where they are, they're better to just go to the whites in New Hampshire. But geez, the trails are gorgeous. The Appalachian Trail is gorgeous in Massachusetts. It really is. It's, everything's marked so well. And a lot of day hikers. We had a group of boys at our camp last night and you know they're not through hiking they're kids so they were loud and they were you know causing a ruckus but it is what it is I didn't have to get up and go to work this morning um well I did but <laughs> um yeah we're just making our way I'll show you where we end up check it out little honor system um trail side stand so nice. Look at this. The AT is trying to keep things really exciting for us. It's like a little obstacle adventure. I see why though. Ew. crossing a lot of roads in Massachusetts um so here are some cars so I'm guessing we're going probably up there because we have we have about 10 more miles today to get into Berkshire Lakeside Lodge that's where we're probably going to stay Goose Pond Cabin, owned by the AMC. Wow, nice. Habits. Berkshires. We, um, it's raining on us. Do you believe it? Anyway, there's the sign for the Berkshires back there. And, uh, it's raining. So, we're staying. So, we're on the trail and it looks like we're going right over to where we're going to be renting a place tonight. This is, um, we'll see what's up ahead.